Adding and subtracting integers. If you struggle with adding and subtracting integers, you need a strategy that helps you get the right answer every time. The strategy you will see on the following pages works every time, and eventually you will not need the strategy anymore. First, you have to know that negative 1 plus 1 equals 0, 1 minus 1 also equals 0. Here we go. Let's begin. Negative 3 plus 7. Negative 3 plus 7. Each one of those minus signs or negative symbols represents negative 1. Each one of those positive signs represents positive 1. Negative 3 plus 7. Three of them for negative 3, seven of them for per positive 7, and one of each cancels out and equals 0. What's left? Positive 4. Negative 3 plus 7, positive 4. What negative 3 plus negative 7? Negative 3 plus 7. Subtraction signs. 7 of them. Count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Negative 10. Negative 3 plus negative 7, negative, negative 10. Negative 8 plus 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Negative 8. Positive 6. Positive 6. 3, 4, 5, 6. It's easiest if you just line them up like that so they're easy to cross out. What are you left with? Negative 2. One of each cancels out. Negative 8. 5, 6, 7, 8. Plus negative 6. One, two, three, four, five, six. They're all negative, so count them. And you should get 14. So negative 14. Negative 8 plus negative 6. Negative 14. Okay, same principle here. Negative 5 plus 10. So 5 negative, 10 positive. You can just cancel them out and then just keep counting it. Canceled out five of them. I had five more positive signs, so my answer is positive five. Five negative plus ten negative. It doesn't matter where you mark them, but so that you have five for the negative five and ten for the negative ten. Count them. Negative fifteen. Don't miss any. And you have negative fifteen. You will get the hang of this and not need to do this strategy, but it works great. Negative 4 minus 10. There's two terms there, negative 4 and negative 10. 4 minus signs, 10 negatives, and count them. They're all negative. Each one is negative 1. There's 14 of them. Negative 4 minus 10. Negative 14. Algebra, you need it. We've seen it written like that earlier. Negative 5, first term, second term, all negatives, count them. Negative 7. This is a must skill for algebra. You have to get these right every single time. 4 minus 12. First term is positive 4. Second term, negative 12. Line them up so we can cancel them out easy. Figure out how many are left. All negatives. So negative 8 for 4 minus 12. It's logical. Logic. Negative 12 plus negative 4. I'll bet you're already starting to get the hang of this, and you're going to say that's negative 16. You can see we'll the count answer. them and make sure. When you're good at it, you can see the answer. Negative 16. You will get good at it. You did 16, negative 16. You will get good at it. On to the next page. Negative 
Negative one plus three. Very common for young people to call this four. That makes no sense. Starting at negative one, moving to the right, three on the number line would give us positive two. Here we have negative one plus negative three. Be careful not to make an extra mark and get the right answer. Negative one plus negative three, negative four. Oops. We all make mistakes once yeah. in a while, but we can when we do our algebra. Positive eight. Eight plus signs. Eight. Minus 14. Minus 14. Eight minus and 14. before I'm even done, I'll bet you're starting to think negative six. that's going to be negative six. negative six. And I know you're getting the hang of this by now. You're looking at negative 14. And when you see a plus sign, you can say and. Plus means and. Negative eight. Negative 14 and negative eight is negative 22. Every time. Another way to think it through there. 22 negative. Negative 22. Find a strategy that works. Let's do a couple more. Negative 11 minus 2. Negative 13. Without making the dashes this time, just picture them. Negative 11 would have a negative minus signs. Negative 2 would have signs, what would that equal? Negatives. Negative 13, most certainly. Negative 3 plus negative 11. Again, think of the answer. Hopefully without having to use the strategy, but if you need the strategy, you have to use it until you don't need it anymore. Negative 14. Negative 3 plus negative 11. Negative 14. Okay, sometimes there's more than two terms. Three terms. Uh, apparently the author of this video has a message for you. A message here. Read it. And I think that points at the word algebra. Can't be good at algebra. But you will be good at algebra. Without adding and subtracting your integers. It is a skill that is part of every skill all year long when you are in algebra. Or a geometry Essential. class. Probably any class for the rest of your life. Figuring out your bank statements. Negative three plus seven plus negative four, and then one of each always cancels to equal zero. So there's three zeros and then four zeros, five zeros, six zeros. Seven zeros gives you zero. 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 Now, when you start seeing numbers that are a little bit bigger, like 20, 30, 50, big numbers, you're not going to want to make all these dashes. So it's real important to start gaining an understanding of how these work. But again, the strategy is awesome. It works. Positive six. Six minus eighteen. First six will all cancel, and there will be 12 more minus signs. I'm going to call that negative 12. Okay, negative 2 plus negative 7. Negative 9. Plus 3. Five, six minus signs is negative six. And here's a case where the numbers are starting to get big again, so are you going to want to draw them all? You'll have five plus signs, and then the first five minus signs would cancel out those five, so you'd be left with negative 22. I hope that makes sense. I'm not calling you lazy, but I wouldn't want to make 300 minus signs and 500 plus signs and then call it positive 200. 
I would want to get it. So, 5 plus negative 27, negative 22. And 30 minus 32. So there would be positive 30. And then 32 minus, it's got to be negative 2. Well, all those 30 positive signs would cancel out. There would be two more negative signs. You get to a point where you can just write down the answer. That's where you want to be. Because adding and subtracting integers accurately is money. And I think you know what I mean by that. There's some practice problems for you. I think the author again is going to ask you to pause the video, go ahead and solve these, and then the answers will appear. See if you get them all right. If you need the strategy, use it. Yeah, use if you think you got the hang of it, you could try that first too. But I, I would I would recommend using the strategy first. The first one. Four minus signs, seven positives, cancel, 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 etc. Get all ten of them right. You'll need paper and pencil, like you always do. Three minus twelve, negative nine. Negative six minus five, negative eleven. Four minus six, negative ten. Negative two plus seven is five. Negative ten plus negative eight is negative eighteen. Five plus negative eight is negative three. Two the minus seven, negative five. Negative four minus nine is negative thirteen. And three plus negative four, negative one. Pause it. Check your answers. Here's some more practice problems for you. Again, pause the video and solve the five on the left. The answers will not appear for the five problems on the right, that's another skill, but they all mean to multiply. Get right. For whatever reason, most kids have an easier time with the multiplication than they do with the adding and subtracting integers. But I'll say it one more time. Adding and subtracting those integers is a critical, critical skill for your algebra. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope you got all, all of them right and some ideas to make sure that you find the right numbers when you're doing your work. Be well. Well, 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 Thank you.